All right, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my first home project here is uh, I'm going to do a little painting of this uh, cabinet here. Uh, right now, we keep most of our shoes in there. Obviously, it's a a uh, we're using it as an entertainment center as well. The TV's on top of there, along with the Xbox. Uh, internet modems down here on the left. Nice picture of me and Jonah. Anyway, uh, the whole apartment's a very light color. Everything. Uh, that's why we got the dark couch. We put uh, there were white, actually white curtains up there. We changed those out to darker curtains. We need some dark in this room to kind of contrast and give it. And it's going to look really nice, I think. So we're going to. I'm going to paint these doors black on this cabinet. And uh, we think that's going to look really nice. And uh, I'll show you the end product. I'm just getting started now. I've sanded everything down really good. I'm going to put the first coat of paint on, let that dry, do a light sand on that, and then put a second coat on. Anyway, hopefully it comes out really nice. I'll give you guys a look at it when it's done. And uh, I've got one coat of paint to put on there, then I'm going to lightly sand that and put a second coat on. Uh, even a third coat. Uh, got a, I got a full gallon of paint, which is way more than I need. Okay, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. And here we are on the paint project. This is a week later and four coats. So you can see how much better that looks in the color black than it did. Uh, just as the, you know, the gray that the whole cabinet was. The black makes it stand out. The apartment's very light in color. So it needs something to darken it up a bit. Hence the dark furniture, the darker curtains. And now we've got this, which really makes things look nice here, I think. This was a, uh, a water-based. It was supposed to be a semi-gloss, but it's, it's actually kind of flat. I'm okay with that. And uh, there you go, guys. The final result of my little painting project I did. I'm also going to come over here and I'm going to dart. I'm going to paint these doors on this cabinet black. So I think that'll look really nice. Now, off to today's breakfast. During my steps this morning, I stopped by our favorite top sea log lady. Oh, that's the fan hitting those. Sorry. Got a little top sea log going. These sausages are really delicious. They're kind of like little smokies minus the casing. Again, top sea log stands for oolam. That would be your oolam. The hot dog and the sausage, plus rice and an egg. 70 pesos, you guys, for that. 70 pesos, and it's a lot of food. For Jonah and I, that's breakfast and lunch. 70 pesos, okay? Thanks for watching this segment, and let's get back to the video. Thanks for watching, guys. On live stream Tuesday, we're about to go live in 10 minutes. Guys, I wanted you to see these t-shirts that we picked up at Nepo Quad. Look at the detail on this. This lady imports these shirts from Thailand. And that was the first thing that I thought of when I saw her booth over at Nepo Quad is Thailand. Because Thailand is the t-shirt capital of the world. I mean, and this is very high quality material. These are 600 pesos each. And they're worth every penny, man. I've got some Thailand shirts that I've had for over 10 years. Going all the way back to my first trip there. There's the back. I was a big Chicago Bulls fan, you know. They are considered the greatest basketball team in the history of the game. This is Jonah's shirt, of course. She loves Luca. Now I'm gonna have to go back and get Jonah the Stephen Curry. And I'll probably get another one too. I mean, just because they're so damn cool. The detail is insane. It's so good, the quality of it. Anyway. Enough of my uh, NBA basketball t-shirt rant. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. And uh, we'll see you uh, on the next vlog. More later, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep smiling on the weekend, baby. In the Philippines, baby. 
Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on my video today. If you haven't already done it, what I'd like to ask you to do is to subscribe to my channel. Very easy, just push that subscribe button, ring that bell, and what that does is that tricks the YouTube algorithm into believing that people actually like my channel. So if you would do that for me, it would be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to click the link down below, Philo in the Philippines Facebook page. Click that link, hit the thumbs up, the like button on that page, you'll see any and everything that I post here in Angeles City. Thanks so much, you guys, for watching again, and let's get back to the video now, all right? Man, do I love the color of this T-Max. Look at that color. It's like a brushed aluminum blue-gray. Really cool bike. And this one's in like a really deep gray metallic with gold wheels. Man, it is something. that down to Subic for lunch. How nice would that be to have something that nice? Man. They're actually both really cool, but I really like the blue one. That metallic blue, whatever, whatever it's called. Giant exhaust. 560 cc. That's gonna go on my wish list. I love it. I've made up my mind. That's my next bike. So nice. Tons of great, great reviews on them. So nice. Yamaha Rev Zone, guys. This place is sweet. Lots of big bikes in here. There's a color blue that's nice. Wow. The Teneri.
Octavia 769. Wow. Hard to believe this bike is less money than the T Max. Look at the size of that thing. Jesus. That is an off road adventure bike. It's a 900, just a, in a one-up configuration, really. XSR 900. Tracer 9 GT. Wow, those are some nice cases. Wow. Here's a cool one. Look at that wheel color. Man, that's off the hook. MT07. There's Chris Calvo's bike. That's the new x -Max. Not quite assembled yet. Nice color. That's 300 cc's. Nice looking rig. The OX Max. Analog dials.